Probably the most common comment I get on my videos is about my voice. And yep, it's polarizing, I know. Uh, the usual comments saying that you found the video helpful, get those too, thanks for making it. And I love these, right? But then there's a different class of comment. And these are rarer, maybe about 1%. And these comments are criticisms, usually which go along the lines like this. What's the point of showing a shortcut if you don't explain why it works? Not just that it works, but why? And that's, well, totally fair comment, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite math shortcuts. In fact, two shortcuts. that can be used to extend your multiplication tables from the 10 times tables all the way up to be able to multiply any two numbers under 20. Well, not instantly, but pretty fast. So as I said, two shortcuts. So don't just look at the first one and then bugger off because you're only gonna get half the story. But at the same time, we're going to be looking at why these shortcuts work to help that shortcut stay in your head. So let's start, let's do this. Spend five minutes, end up smarter. So we're gonna start with the trick to multiply T numbers. We'll start with this one here, something like 13 multiplied by 14, and we'll see what that equals. Now this is a pretty easy trick. The first thing we do is we are going to look at the units digits of each of these numbers. So for 13, we have a units digit of three, and for 14, we have a units digit of four. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add one of these numbers to the other one's units digit. So either 13 plus four or 14 plus three. Pretty simple, and you'll get the same answer. So 13 plus four is 17. The next step in this trick is you multiply this number by 10. As you can see, these are 10's numbers, we multiply by 10. So we end up with 170. Now the final step, what we do, is we multiply three times four, three times four is 12, and we add that on. So 170 plus 12 gives us our answer of 182. So that's pretty easy, right? And yes, it works for multiplying any two numbers in their teens together. We'll go through a couple of examples in a little bit. But why did this particular trick work? And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So I'll draw this out to show you what's happening. So first off, we had 13 by 14. So along the top axis here, we have 13, and we're multiplying this by 14. If we grid this out into squares as we're done here, in the top left-hand corner, we have 10 times 10. In the bottom left-hand corner, we have 10 times four, as you can see. Top right, we have 10 times three, and down here, we have three times four. So if we go back to the steps we used in this particular math trick, the first thing we did is we looked at the units digits for each number. We had a three and a four, and we either added 13 to four or 14 to three, which gave us 17. Now, as you'll notice, this is the sum of all these numbers here. We either have 14 plus three or 13 plus four. Then what we did is we multiplied that number by 10, and you can see that all of these numbers are multiplying by 10. So that made sense that we did that. We got 170. The final step, we got three times four, and then we added that on. So three times four is equal to 12, and adding this on gave us the answer of 182. And that's why this particular math trick works. Pretty cool, right? If you like this, by the way, and you like this explanation, please, this is YouTube. I've got to try and self-promote a little bit. Please hit the like button, and while you're at it, don't just leave it at that. Get really, really down and dirty. Yell something nasty at the like button, call it a nasty name, and then leave a comment telling us what you called it. Although remember, this is a PG channel, so keep it pretty nice. Anyway, what about we have a look at the second trick? All right, so let me show you the second way that you can multiply numbers under 20, because if you stop at the last trick, you're only gonna get half the story. This method allows you to multiply the other numbers. Numbers such as the following, where we have something where they're not teens numbers. We have 14 is a teens number, but we're gonna multiply this by seven. Now, the way that you're gonna do this is pretty simple. It's actually probably easier than the other method, and you've probably used it before. So the first thing we're going to do is once again, look at the units digits. We have a four and we have a seven. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna look at this units digit by itself, the seven, and we're going to multiply it by 10. You can probably work out why. Seven times 10 is equal to 70. Then what we're going to do is multiply these two units digits together. Seven times four is equal to 28. And once again, we add that on, we have our answer. 70 plus 28 is equal to 98. Now, why does this work? You can probably see it's not that hard to work out. If we look at 14 here, it's made up of two parts. It's made up of a 10 part and a four. And both of these are being multiplied by seven. So we have 10 times seven 
and four times seven. 10 times seven is equal to 70, four times seven is equal to 28. Add those together, you have your answer. As I said, nice and simple, and you may have been using this already. So there you go, two methods that you can use to multiply numbers all the way up to 20. Now, what about a couple of these that you can practice right now? We'll mix them up a little bit. So first off, what about we do 17 multiplied by 13? Uh, next we'll do uh, 14 multiplied by nine. Uh, next after that, we'll do 15 multiplied by 18. And then finally, we'll do 16 multiplied by four. Cool. So. Give these a go, pause the video, and see how you go. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, please hit the like button. You've got two math techniques you've got. Hit the like button, do us a favor. All right, so have you done that yet? Let's go through now and have a look at the answers here. So we have, first off, 17 multiplied by 13. So for each one of these, we're looking at the units digits. So we have 17 plus three, which is equal to 20, and then we multiply that by 10. So we get 200. Finally, we have three times seven, which is equal to 21. So we add 21 on, we get the answer, 221. Pretty fast, right? So let's have a look at the next one, 14 multiplied by nine. First off, we have 10 times nine, which is 90. And to that, we're going to add four times nine. Four times nine is 36. We end up with 126. To the next question, 15 times 18. All right, so we're gonna have a five and an eight. First off, we have 15 plus eight, which is equal to 23, becomes 230. And to that, we're going to add five times eight, which is 40. All right, did you get the answer of 270? Now, finally, we have 16 times four. So the way that we're gonna do this is, first off, we have 10 times four, which is 40. And to that, we're going to add six fours. Six fours are 24. And this gives us the answer of 64. And there you have it. That's how you go through and you multiply any number all the way up to 20. Pretty cool, right? Now, once again, if you like this trick, please smash down hard on that like button, leave a comment telling me what you thought, and also tell me what you thought of the actual explanation. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? Let us know. It's really appreciated. As usual, a big shout out to my patrons and a big thumbs up to my subscribers. Thank you all for watching. And... You know, there's this awkward bit at the end. What do we say? See you next time.